Carter of Fitness Science. And I wanted to answer one question today um, that seems to be very important to a lot of clients. What should I be eating? And it's a very multifaceted question, very difficult to answer. It really depends on so many different factors. And the only way to really establish a good diet plan for anybody is to take a look at, let's say, two weeks of your eating patterns, write it all down and write the responses of how these foods are making you feel. Are you feeling alert or sleepy, lethargic, tired, full of energy or falling asleep? Um, can you concentrate and focus for the whole day? Do you have energy to exercise? And so on, so on. So looking at your food intake and looking at your body's physiological responses is probably the most um, detailed and best way to go. And of course there are some basic rules like um, try to minimize processed foods, increase your vegetables and fruit for some people, uh, eat good quality proteins, but it's not that clear cut for everybody. It really depends on a lot of factors. Um, among many of them are um, your biochemical individuality um, or your metabolic type. Um, there are ways to establish that and to see what metabolic type you are, which is basically uh, the way of figuring out what your body responds best to and functions the best on. Is it higher amount of proteins or more fat, fewer carbohydrates, more carbohydrates, and so on. Um, and we are not all the same. I think one of the big mistakes of many dietitians is treating people the same but um, as we know there is no clear-cut solution for everyone you are just you and what you can eat to be healthy and uh, feel full of energy may be completely different um, than what someone else can and I really uh, believe there's truth to the saying that one man's food is another man's poison uh, I think that's very, very true because I know people who function on very high amounts of carbohydrates with no problems and perfect blood tests and some who um, eat mostly protein and very high amounts of saturated fat and are just as healthy. The best way for you is to figure out which type you fall into so that you can use that biochemical individuality and work with it. Uh, rather than struggle through trying 10,000 different diets. Just try to work with someone that can guide you along the way. Um, your diet will depend on your ancestry, your genes, um, your age, your stress levels, um, your amount of sleep, uh, the, um, the amount of recovery that you get, your training, does it include weight training or is it mostly cardiovascular training? Um, are you doing intervals or are you just doing an hour and a half of cardio every day, which is really counterproductive to losing weight? Um, what else? Uh, the climate you live in. Climate can have a huge influence on what you need to eat to sustain your body. So all of these factors need to really be taken into account. But generally, eating foods that are natural and whole foods, um, that's probably one of the most important things. But the second is really trying to find out what works best for you because you are only you and nobody else.